the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this quick video tutorial, I'm just going to run through and show you the process of converting a PDF to a Word document. Now, most of us are probably reasonably used to working with PDF files. They offer a lot more security when sharing your files with others as they make it a lot more difficult for people to make changes. At least that has always historically been the case. But these days, Word makes it super simple for you to take a PDF file, open it in Word, and then make edits to the document. And the process of doing this is probably a lot simpler than you think. So let's take a look at how we would do this. Now on my desktop, I have two PDF files, and these are basically just templates that I've created in Word and then saved as a PDF. So currently, I can't make any edits to this particular document. I also have another one which is along the same lines. This one is for an invoice. If I double click to open, it's opening in my PDF viewer. And again, I can't make any changes to this document. So what if I now want to open these in Word? Well, let's pull up Word. And there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. The first way is super simple. If you jump to file and go down to open, all you need to do is browse to where you have your PDF file stored. I'm going to select the first one here, invoice.pdf, and click on open, much the same as you would with any other file. The difference here is that you're going to get a little pop-up message that says Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. And it also warns you that depending on the amount of graphics that you have within the PDF document, this can take a while. And I will say that when you convert your PDF to a Word document in this way, it doesn't necessarily always come across exactly as it looks in the PDF. So there might be a few little adjustments that you need to make, but in general, most things should be in the correct position. So let's click on OK and see what this invoice looks like. And there we go. In this case, this is pretty much exactly the same as the PDF. Everything's in the correct position, but I can now jump in here and I can change the name. So if I just type in my name up here, you can see what that looks like. Now you can see here with this one, this isn't correctly lined up. So this might be where I need to make some minor adjustments. So for this, I'm going to grab the indent on the ruler. And I'm just going to drag that around to get everything lined up nicely. So if you need to go in, make your minor adjustments, but in general, everything should be in the correct place. So that is the first method that you can use. The second method is even quicker. And for this, I'm going to place Word into one side of my screen using that Windows snapping facility. An even quicker way of opening up this PDF in Word is just to select the second template, which is resume.pdf, drag and drop into the Word window. And again, you're going to get that pop-up message. I'm going to click on OK. And it's now opened up that resume in Word. And again, if I look down, just check it for details, I can see that references is kind of on its own on the other page. So I might want to make some changes to the layout. I might want to move some of this up or maybe change the font size so that everything fits nicely on one page. But once again, everything is editable and I can jump in here and make any changes that I need. And that is pretty much it. So simple to open PDF files and edit them in Word. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.